Researchers at the University of Cincinnati are developing robotic pets to help care for the elderly. Led by Professor Claudio Ribola, a team of researchers is working to make robotic pets more realistic and practical. For example, they could check your vitals, you know, when you hug them. Real story. The team recently received a $1 million National Science Foundation grant to redesign an existing line of toys. Ageless Innovation is a company founded by former Hasbro executives. The company recently acquired the Joy for All Companion Pets product line, which has been on the market since 2015, and they feature simple toy-like designs, sounds, and movements that provide comfort, companionship, and fun for the elderly. Rebola's team wants to take the toys and turn them into the next generation of robotic intelligence that provides psychosocial support for older adults. In initial interviews, they found that users wanted a dog that was more realistic. And as you can see from what they were working with, that was warranted. The new prototype is modeled after the Yorkshire Terrier, which is actually one of the most popular breeds among older adults. Fun fact. As you can see from the prototype, it remains a work in progress as well. Though that bandana's, that bandana's cute. Look at that little cutie pie right there. Working with high quality faux fur, the team wants the new dogs to be, quote, more pettable and lifelike. Students also redesigned the body to make it less mechanical and more flexible. They also improved the eyes, nose, and paws. They cut, like, they did everything. Everything's different. They're also adding technology, particularly the ability to detect or prevent falls, connect users to caregivers, emergency services, and loved ones, check vital signs, as I said before, and provide reminders. That's right, the pet will be your friend, audio diary, and remind you to take your pills. Next, the team is improving the prototype with plans to launch in 2020. Rebola hopes that future designs will actually be customizable, so users could model them after their favorite pet. So you can make a robot copy of your dead best friend that will watch you as the slow crush of time swallows your life. And hopefully, they won't eat your eyes when you die. Squeegeeing blood. Researchers from the Thayer School of Engineering at Dartmouth College and City University of Hong Kong have created a biohybrid floating plane robot. Right? So I had to check it out. The robots were inspired by Transformers toys and whales. Essentially, it can shapeshift its elastic body and it's propelled by a light-controlled cellular engine. The idea is that this roughly 10 millimeter robot could one day perform highly targeted drug delivery inside you. The body is the shape of an airplane and was 3D printed using polysiloxane material, which is the same stuff that they use to make dental putty. And then they coated it with heart muscle cells and a light-sensitive hydrogel. The robot is driven by a tail fin that mimics whale propulsion but the soft robot is remotely controlled by a skin penetrating near infrared light. In the absence of light, the wings deploy and allow the heart cells to propel it forward. When exposed to light, the floating plane retracts its wings, causing it to stop. The transformable device dramatically improves the usefulness of robots designed to work inside the human body. It will literally swim up the human bloodstream. So what does that mean for drug delivery? As Zi Chen, an assistant professor of engineering at Thayer said, we literally dropped drug bombs on cancer cells. Because the floating plane robot is maneuverable, it can carry medicine directly to cancer cells. Next, the researchers are working to use light to move the wings separately so that it can become more precise. Now, while they were inspired by Hasbro's classic toy line, I think Chen said it best. The result is no toy. It may literally change people's lives. Squeegeeing blood. Chinese artists Sun Wan and Peng Yu have found an interesting new application for an industrial robot. Squeegeeing blood. Yuan and Yu combined a KUKA robot, Cognix visual recognition sensors, and software to create Can't Help Myself, an examination of our increasingly automated global reality. And, you know, how it might clean up the mess after the robots are done murdering us. The robot uses sensors to detect when the blood flows too far and then uses the end effector to shovel it back into place. Literally, they literally call it a shovel. And it's a bloodbath in there as it leaves stains on the floor and spatter on the walls. According to the artists, the blood is actually cellulose ether, a rather complicated product made with wood or cotton fiber combined with colored water. But I mean, there are some things I'm just not gonna fact check. The art installation was originally commissioned by the Guggenheim Museum, but you can now check it out at the Venice Art Biennial 2019 in Italy. Titled, May You Live in Interesting Times, the exhibit runs through November 24th, 2019, and while you're there, you can also check out the fake indoor beach. 
The pair is known for blending technology with art to create visceral installations and works meant to provoke startling and contemplative emotions. Like the angel, a sculpture of a dead angel outfitted with large roasted chicken wings. And they made Old Person's Home, in which 13 life-size sculptures modeled after aged world leaders ride 13 different wheelchairs and continuously slam into one another. I'm David Manti, this is Engineering by Design.